<laughs> this video is going to be short and sweet. It is currently 9.20 at night on Tuesday night. <laughs> I'm going to give you a little update on things. I have been home for about an hour, I guess. If you want to be successful, man, you got to go till you can't go no more, and then you got to go a little bit more. Just keep that thought. So this video is going to be an update about the mini excavator. <laughs> of course, I've got the Rotovec grapple came in last Monday. So I've had it for eight days now. <clears throat> the new mini excavator was supposed to... They were going to pick it up on Friday. Possibly have it Saturday. And I got a call on Saturday... There was some concern on it. <laughs> and so then it came in on Monday, which was yesterday. And I got the call on it yesterday. And the concern, it was concerned when it came in was, uh, well, per in, long story short, when it came in, it was not right. Uh, there is some specific things on the mini that, uh, the new one, that, uh, it's got to have. I gotta have dual hydraulics. Got to. And I also, of course, I gotta have a pin grab on it, short, the shorter stick on it, which is that one right there. It's gonna be a little bit shorter than a normal one. And just there's several extra counterweight, just several things. So it come in. I do know one thing it didn't have when it got delivered yesterday was it only had one set of hydraulics on it, auxiliaries. Like, uh, this thing, this is not good. This is not good. So we got a good, the grapple come in the other day, y'all know, let me get that light over blinking, that stupid thing. I ought to go over and just knock it off the side of the building is what I ought to go do. Uh, Saya Freight, uh, was very abusive to the grapple when they were shipping it. And, uh, so, and y'all don't worry, uh, Rotobeck watches all of my stuff. They know what's going on, everything behind the scenes and what have you. So there's a lot of people up in arms about that. I mean, it was predominantly paint scratched on the grapple which is no big deal because it's going to get worn off anyhow the problem where i have a problem is when they take the forks on a forklift and they fork the name grapple that's that's not cool and and, and that just goes back to people people suck people people for the most part don't care no more on this planet and don't want to do their job very well and they don't care that's the reason why you got people who are super successful because they care. And you got people who never get out of the rut that they're in because they don't care. Let's go back to the mini excavator. So anyhow, comes in, it's wrong. Get a call, so I'm going to kind of let them sit on it and see. So I got a call back first thing this morning about it. Of course, now I've got or I've got a serial number for the machine that I've had for a couple of weeks now, and uh, so I get a call back this morning. It says, "Hey, um, the machine we got is the wrong machine. Uh, your machine is still setting so and so, and that's where it's at." I was like, okay, that's cool. Uh, I'd rather it be that away than have to uh, tear into it to add another valve into it and all that stuff. So I'm thinking, all right, that'll work, but we're going to throw us off on time. This whole thing is on a, or was on a kind of a somewhat of a timeline because everything had to kind of fall in place. Uh, and that's the biggest thing that's jacked this whole thing up is the time frame on stuff because all this, you know, the thing with the grapple, 
uh, going down, there's going to be a film crew coming down here. I'm actually, after I get the gravel going, it's going to be doing some filming with it. And then, uh, and then we're going to do a video. They're sending a tech down. It's going, we're going to install it because it's going to have some stuff put on the machine. Just a lot of different things that got to fall in place on this. Y'all have no idea. Uh, you just, you just, it, it goes on and on. <clears throat> so anyhow here we are now so they got to get the machine that actually will be mine now brought here from where it's sitting at now which is the correct machine i will say this there's been a lot of speculation i have not said what it is it is not a kubota i can tell you that right now it's not a it is not a kubota it's not a kubota and it's not a caterpillar either not a cat so and of course there's a lot of other manufacturers out there besides all that so uh we'll see but i just want to give y'all an update on it because i had people asking in the, in the comments you know what's you know you seen it or whatever no i have not so tomorrow which will be wednesday morning I'm fixing to unload these two things off the trailer. I'm going to unhook from the trailer. And then I'm going to take that truck and I'm going to hook it to this trailer. It, it, the lift is on. And me and Gabe are going to make a road trip. Gabe has worked with me Monday and Tuesday all day long. Uh, we did 11 and a half hour day yesterday. Uh, today we did a, God, what did we do today? We did a 10 hour day today. We didn't, we wasn't as ambitious today, but we're going to make a road trip tomorrow with this thing. And we're going to be uh, working some trees. Not now, we're just doing some mega pruning is what we're going to do. So that is that. I have absolutely, totally killed it since January of this year. It has been nuts. Y'all, absolutely nuts. This past weekend, I worked slapped through the weekend trying to keep up. Worked all day Saturday and all day Sunday trying to just knock his jaws out. And uh, it's one of those deals. If you got an opportunity, you better take it and get it. So anyhow, video ended up being a lot longer than what I uh, wanted it to be. Cause it's just gonna kind of be an update surprisingly the dogs just stay quiet over there that's a miracle but there you go i'm gonna unload these things and do the trailer swapping and that's gonna be that for the night the job that gabe and i did yesterday and we finished it today was a major major removal uh it was 16 original trees that were going to be removed and it turned into about 21 trees full removal stump grind everything cleaned up and uh, just a mega mega job so we will catch y'all later later taters